What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. So <laughs> I'm in the middle of uh, tinkering here with the Super Duke. Um, right now I'm at 200 miles. Uh, if you are not aware about this bike, um, you should be by now on a Gen 2. There's like the radiator sinking, drooping issue that causes it to leak. That is actually people have found out that it's due to the tank weighing down or just downward force from the tank weighing down on the supports of the radiator. So I'm getting ahead of it now. Um, I have 200 miles on the bike so far. Uh, my supports are installed properly. So some, some people have shown that it's been rotated, but I am at 200 miles. I think they just been, you know, this is brand new. So um, it, it, it's installed properly is what I'm saying. So it's installed properly. Uh, some people have shown that it's rotated over time. So maybe it's just from vibration. The bike vibra vibrates a lot. So um, what I'm planning to do here, so what some people have done is they added thicker, they added more supports and as well as um, thicker supports uh, along the front side here because that's the leading edge where the uh, most of the force are coming down. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to add, you can kind of see some rub marks down here. I think that's so basically that tells us that the tank is kind of when it's moving around it's hitting this frame so we're going to add more support here maybe a little bit thicker than this one and look what i found out <laughs> look what i found so i got this uh ducati uh old uh grip so i'm gonna use this i think uh or you know i'm gonna double up because this is not thick enough on its own so i might double up with the other side you know, just double it up. So we'll see what it will look like, but it's going to say Ducati on it. So it's just kind of funny because, you know, one, one company helping the other company out. So we'll do that and see what it looks like. Uh, like I said, like I said, I'm going to double it up to make it, to make it taller than this one. So it's going to be right along here and I'm going to cut it out and then uh, cut it. And then I'm going to do the zip tie. So yeah, let's see what it looks like. All right, guys. So here's what I got. I, 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 it's rough. It's a rough cut. It, it's you know. It doesn't matter as long as it's in, it's supporting the frame is all I'm after. So we got this first. Uh, this is the thicker one. So this is the the left side grip. <laughs> so you can put it in here. Make sure that it's facing up. So it won't rotate because this thing is rubber. So it's gripping. So it, actually, it's the perfect material for this. So I'm sure you can find many others, but you can put it right here. Uh, make sure that yeah, you can, so you can at least see the Ducati brand. Do that there. So right now, uh, by itself, it's the same level as the stock. So we'll add a little bit more uh, material by adding the throttle side grip up there. So you can see. And now we're gonna zip tie it. So I it's I think it's just a perfect solution. Or maybe I can put the thinner side first so I can. So the, the, you won't see this outside. So yeah, I just put the, I put the thicker side first because it's, uh, it's the one that has the most uh, grip there, has the most grip. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. And um, I'm going to, before I um, zip tie this in, I'm going to, of course, test fit and see if I can actually put the tank back on because now I'm adding, you know, a little bit more, um, tension up here, I mean like, you know, the upward force. So we'll see if it fits nicely and then I'm gonna zip tie it. All right, so here's our mock up of how it is. I think this one will do the trick. On the other side, um, yeah, this one has actually the brand facing the right way. <laughs> uh, so uh, it's not tight, I'm just uh, mocking it up. So I'm gonna put the tank back on and see how it fits. All right, guys, so I'm actually changing the design here. So uh, originally, uh, this piece is the KTM piece that's in here. I took it out completely and replaced it with my solution here. So this is essentially wider and thicker than this one. As you can see there. So from this it adds a little bit of support so instead of because this one all this together it's probably not even this thing is not doing anything else in there so i rather just have the one the thicker the one thicker one to make the solution simple and there's less things on the frame 
So that's what I'm doing now. I'm, I revised it. So from I'm cutting this part into the video I shot earlier. So I'm going to do the same thing for the next, the this other side, and then we're going to close it up. All right. So I did the adjustment that I felt like I need to do. Um, I just want to point this out. Like this is not going to be like an end all be all type of solution. I think, I think there's, it's just a weak point in the design because that's just one part of it. Like one, if this, if this tank is going down, um, and somehow affecting the radiator mounts, I think the radi the way the radiator is mounted is just in these two tabs that are not super strong. Um, if you look at it, uh, so I still think there's two parts to the, you know, that it could fail two points of failure. So that one part is the tank. Um, you have, you add the support. But there's still the weakness of the tank itself, so um, it's it's I don't know. So there's I, I think it's not a complete fix, but at least you eliminate that one thing that could do it. Uh, so I just want to point point that out there. Uh, this thing could still fail and vibrate over time, and still it's this part that splits. It's it doesn't split. This one pulls into the top row of the radiator that causes the the leak most of the time, 99 percent of the time. It's that part so people put like a they weld a brace from here to the bottom like it's like it's it's clamping it down like that so that's kind of like the, the the reinforced solution you know you have a radiator um shop that will weld like you know just a stronger support that will like you know compress or hold the all the fins intact because uh, the, the the bracket on the bottom is very flimsy and and it's ba barely anything so it's nothing really. So it's mainly on something to do with the top here. So that's it. Um, yeah, in my second time, uh, try to insert this uh, segment into the video, but uh, this is my second time closing this out. So I just kind of want to point that out. Uh, I'm gonna close the video out this time and that's it. I just did that revision and um, yeah. So hopefully you guys found this um, video helpful if you have a Super Duke. And you're thinking about um, longevity and so this is basically I'm just doing this for the longevity of it I'm keeping the um, stock KTM you know just because um, like I said I when you replace it or add a support this thing is basically useless because the, the support is taller than this and so I just just put this away keep it handy for the future all right guys uh, thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys for the next one